a little bit of uh, soul. <laughs> Did you put this on to make me feel a bit <laughs> uncomfortable? What's this song here? Hi, welcome to the studio, baby. Uh, now I am joined. <laughs> Sorry, put those clothes back on. I'm joined in the studio by Peter Jones, who is an author, public speaker, and self-help guru. Yeah, well, no, I'm not self-help guru. You gave me that title. I know, well, I liked it. <laughs> Shut your face. Uh, he's written several books of fiction and non-fiction. You've got The Truth About This Charming Man, The Good Guy... The Good Guy's Guide to Getting uh, the Girl, How to Do Everything and Be Happy, How to Start Dating and Stop Waiting, From Invisible to Irresistible, and his brand new book, My Girlfriend's Perfect Ex-Boyfriend. Terrific. Yay! Hey. I still managed to get that one wrong. The yeah. Good Guy's, guy's guide, guide to, to Getting, getting the, the Girl. girl. Ten years and you'll have it... <laughs> You have it down pat. It's perfect. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I have you. I have read the Invisible to Irresistible. Have you? Well, that's yeah. the smallest one. That's why. Yeah, I, I know. And the Good Guy's Guide to Getting the Girl. Have there we go. Oh, right, yes, okay. I have. Because uh, they're in my little collection at home with your uh, little writing in. Uh. To Michelle, I hate you. <laughs> uh, now we have to say very good morning to Valerie. I feel because I know she's going to be listening. Yes. With her work colleagues, yeah. I said, don't, no, don't listen to me. No, don't listen to me. No, I want to listen to you. No, please. Uh, so. She just listen to you all the time. You think she <laughs> want to switch the radio I off? I know. I know. I know. Nobody's getting any work done today. No. Hi, Valerie. Hello. Do, do you call her Val? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Or, but actually, I like Valerie. Yeah. Valerie's a lovely name. It's a good song. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody's been singing that to her. <laughs> oh, well, they, I'm really Valerie. sorry. Sorry about that, Valerie. Uh, but I have seen your pictures because I like stalking around. I was saying on Facebook, mm. I, there's nothing more I like than... Because it feels like I've been on holiday <laughs> with, with people. I go, oh, we you... had a great time. Yeah. You, you, yeah. <laughs> I live my life through you, others' Facebook through pages. Others Facebook holiday photos. Yeah. yeah. Others' no. romances. You don't, like who needs to go away when you can just look at everybody's... Uh, you know, Facebook holiday photos. That's why you should put things on private, because you don't know who I'm looking at any time of the day. Well, that's it. It's true. Late at night. Don't put anything on there that you wouldn't put on a billboard yeah. on the A12. Be careful, especially <laughs> with my mum watching. Uh, now, we're going to talk about the book in a while. Right. But uh, what have you been up to? Because you've been not been in for about, well, about... I think it's a year, but maybe it's a bit longer than about that. about four years, I think. It's not four years. Um, it must, I weeping. think it's a year. Because you went on to other radio stations, I saw you. As I was stalking around uh, Facebook, I've oh, I don't know. I think I went on BBC Essex. Oh. I don't think I've been anywhere else. Was it else. with that? Was it with that? Was uh, it him? I, I I would say it was a phone in. That was the last one I did. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. It was a phone in on the morning show, and uh, I was all, already with a list of things that I wanted to talk about. He mm. wanted to know about online dating, and yeah. uh, he phoned me up, and I had this list of things to cover. And we must have been talking for well, ooh, almost two minutes, and <laughs> and, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and then it ended, yeah. and I immediately started getting messages and tweets from people saying, "Well, that wasn't very long, was it?" No, <laughs> it's not like here where we can have a little chat about. I know, Facebook. I mean, I there know. you just get what's your name, I know. Peter Jones. And yeah, see we've you got later. Peter Jones on the line. He's a, an expert in dating, aren't you, Peter? Yes, I am. Well, it's been lovely <laughs> talking to you. And now the news. And now the ads because <laughs> they're paying our wages. Yeah, exactly. My, you know, my heart is always here at Phoenix FM. Yeah. It's because I cut it out and put it in the box in the, in the corner with my other guests. The self-help books, we were talking about dating. How did they, for people who don't know, how did those books come about? Gosh, well, it was a long time ago now, but around about 10 years ago, my wife Kate died. Uh, she passed away from a brain hemorrhage. Mm. Um, and uh, if anybody out there has had anybody, um, you, you know, lost anybody, then they know what it's like. You mm. know, your world is turned upside down. It makes you rethink an awful lot of stuff. She was dropping me off. I was off to, I was flying out to Croatia to finish writing a novel that she'd started me writing a few years earlier. And mm. she took me there. And um, I noticed her car was still parked as I walked into the terminal building. So I thought, that's a bit weird. So I turned around and went back to the car. And to me, it looked like she'd fainted. But mm. actually, she'd just, she'd just gone. It turned my life upside down. And it made me rethink an awful lot of stuff. And it made me think, you know, I'm not a particularly happy person right now. Uh, you know, there had been moments of happiness. Most of them down to Kate. Most of them in the previous three years. But I didn't want my life to be about moments of happiness. I wanted to be happy all of the time. So I set about using my problem-solving skills because back then I used to work in banking and I was the sort of fix-it man. I came up with lots of different ideas and that sort of stuff. And eventually a colleague of mine said, you ought to write this in a book. And so I did. Mm. And so that was my first book, How to Do Everything and Be Happy. That led to me to me having a three-book deal with Audible, the audiobook people. Yeah. And I didn't know what else to write about. Just, um, so, but... 
you know, uh, after some thought, I thought, well, actually, I do know a couple of other things. And one of them was um, I knew how to lose weight, how to control my weight. So I wrote how to eat loads and stay slim. That was it. That's the one I've not got here. Uh, mm. it's not it's obviously <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and uh, also uh, I realised that I'd become well I had to become in order to uh, you know to meet somebody I had to become a bit of an expert in online dating mm. and so and so I wrote from how to start dating and stop waiting yes. as well how to start dating and stop waiting sort of spawned a, um, a companion guide called From Invisible to Irresistible which is the book you mentioned yeah. earlier but after three or so years of writing uh, self-help you know I I didn't really want to do that anymore because really my first love was writing fiction. I say started, I'd always been writing fiction, but sort of put more energy into that. Three top tips for people on Facebook who are single that are trying to attract some. I think the, for the biggest mistake you see is that people um, never ever send a message out of, the, out of the blue, you know, never sort of, because a lot of my female friends, they get these weird messages from strange blokes. I wish I did. Uh, <laughs> and so, and most of those, uh, most of those messages are from scammers anyway they're not actually real people but um, if you do that if you just send a random message to somebody they're never going to see it so mm. don't do that I think yep. the so that's the first tip and that one you know mainly goes to men because I can't really imagine that women would try that approach the second one is just to start sort of joining in in conversations that that person is already in so if they're if they're sort of talking about stuff you know just sort of like join in and uh, when you've started to develop a little bit of rapport when you started sort of knowing each other then that's it that's the third thing is that send them a friend request Mm. But as soon after that, bonus tip, as soon as you can, uh, after once you've sort of friended them on Facebook, don't get into a, like, a message backwards and forward exchange thing. As soon as you can, suggest meeting up for coffee. Yes. That's it. And you said also never put your status on your Facebook page as single. Oh, yeah, never do that. No. Because you look desperate. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> you, think it, you think it would be... I the, took mine off. Well, you think it would be it. like putting up a for sale sign, yeah. wouldn't you? You know, it's like, here I am, I'm available. Yeah. But, uh, discounted. Yeah, discount. yeah. But all you actually, all people do is they think, I wonder why they're single. Must yeah. be something wrong with them. And, and to be fair... Yeah, <laughs> and to yeah but is. don't do the opposite. Don't set it to married or something like no, that. No, no. Or, you know, or it's complicated. Is oh, that no. one? It is? Okay. <laughs> I think that is one on there. You just know. Nobody just set that. it to only me and let yes. people guess. Yeah. Yeah.